warm welcome everybody to this uh, sustainable growing seminar held by the Sustainable Growing Plaza Partners. So what is sustainability? Um, different terms within the horticultural sector uh, are not always used according to their official definitions. But a term used more and more within the sector is that of the UN from the Brundtland Report. It's saying uh, meeting the needs of the present uh, without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. Protecting the environment, economic growth, and social development must be balanced. We talk about uh, productive and profitable business, uh, horticultural business, and if we uh, talk about sustainability, we say we cannot be sustainable without being profitable. And Jakke already mentioned the uh, Brundtland Report definition. Uh, in more popular way, we say it is about people, planet, and profit. In Russia, we uh, have a, a big project, and this is on. Uh, this is a very advanced greenhouse on cucumbers. In Kenya we are busy with uh, minimizing water and uh, nutrient consumption. And in the Netherlands we are reducing use of pesticides. Okay. It actually involves all the variables which are necessary for growing. So CO2, heat, uh, light, whatever. And you can play a little bit with these variables. We start with cubic meter of rock, we can make 50 cubic meters of stone wall, we can produce 350,000 kilos of tomatoes from that and we can recycle that to make bricks, 8 cubic meters of bricks and essentially we can do that whether it's cucumbers, peppers, roses, gerbera. We're looking to the challenges, we've got to do two times more with two times less. We know consumers want self, healthy, sustainable food production methods. How are we looking externally to help growers deliver that product? Also, how we are looking internally to reduce our own environmental impact. So the tools, just in a nutshell, we use in this resilient growing is adding certain organisms with proven value, like trichoderma, but there are more in the pipeline to come. We aim to increase biodiversity in the root zone, so we don't like a sterile environment, like in the hospital, because we think that's very fragile. We like a lot of different organisms which, which are in a, in a balanced situation. A compost extract is one of the ways to achieve this, also in aquaculture. We have to learn how to respect these natural organisms by avoiding toxic pesticides. We are used to thinking this way above the ground, but we were not yet, yet used to think this way below the ground. If you go to a grower who is used to grow in a traditional way uh, cucumbers and you talk about high wire, well, he will, he will tell you for sure the first thing that the, the costs are too high and he will not going to do that and then they especially talk about labor cost. But we think that the labor cost per piece uh, is higher than in a traditional way because you need more hours. But uh, I, will, I will show you some figures, uh, some, some data later. Um, you, the, you, you have more cost than only labor cost, so it will, it will, come, uh, it will be better at the end.